This is a video response to an email we received from Trevor in Madison, Wisconsin on how to charge uh, LiPo batteries. Trevor asks, how do I go about properly charging my various cell LiPo batteries with my LiPo charger? Somewhat paraphrased, but that is the question. And that's a pretty simple process. Uh, I have right here in front of me, I have uh, the Thunder AC6 uh, multi-purpose charger. It is a lithium polymer charger, lithium polymer charger, but it will also charge nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, um, even lead acid batteries. So it's uh, pretty versatile. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be covering only lithium polymer or LiPo batteries. Alright, so first thing is, what kind of battery do you have? You want to look at it. In this particular case, I'm using, this is an E-Flight battery. It's a 500 milliamp hour battery. It's a single cell, so that means that it's a 3.7 volt, nominal voltage, 3.7 volt battery. 500 milliamp hour battery. So what we want to do first is go ahead and set our charger for the um, if you have a multi-purpose charger you'll have different settings for different battery chemistries you want to make sure that the lithium polymer or lipo setting is selected first um, the thing about these battery chargers is you're going to find that um, across a pretty wide spectrum there are different chargers with different looks and slightly different faces however they all pretty much operate exactly the same. Um, I do strongly suspect that maybe they have all the, the same basic charging circuit. The, uh, the processor um, operates the same in most all of them. So across the board this is pretty much going to be identical. If you don't have one that operates like this for any reason, um, <clears throat> excuse me, email us again and we can do something more specific. Otherwise they're pretty much the same across the board back to our charging. First thing we want to do is we want to set the proper current. So this is a 500 milliamp hour battery which means that in general I do not want to charge it at any more than 500 milliamp hours. Typically if I want my battery to last longer, maybe even a lot longer, we would charge it at less than that. But for this case we're going to charge at 500 milliamps. So I'm going to hit the start button I'm going to use the decrease button and keep decreasing it until it goes down to 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps. By the way, if you have to make a large jump in amperage or any setting on your charger for the most part, you can just hold either one of these buttons like so and it'll go automatically if you can see that. So we go down to 500 milliamps. I'm going to hit the start enter button again which brings us over to the voltage setting. Right now you can see it's at 11.1 .1, but this is a 3.7 volt one cell LiPo battery so I'm going to hit the decrease button here to bring it down 7.4 3.7 hit the start button again. So my settings are all correct. Now I'm going to hook up my battery this is a JST connector that's on this particular battery and I'm going to take the corresponding JST connector adaption from the charger, plug it into the battery <clears throat> and remember always use caution and good common sense when charging your LiPo batteries. I'm just going to keep this set right here for the sake of this video but uh, typically speaking you want to have your LiPo batteries in a safe place um, preferably a LiPo safe charging bag while you are charging them. Alright so the settings are correct on here we're at 500 milliamps at 3.7 volts the battery is hooked up via the connection now all that's left to do is we hold 
the start enter button for approximately two or three seconds. Checks the battery. All right, it's showing us that it is a one cell battery, that it has red, it is detected, and that's what we had it set for. So it's asking, do you want to confirm, enter, or do you want to cancel, stop? We want to confirm, so we hit enter, and we can see that it starts charging the battery. Now this one was actually already charged up. So you can see that the current is only down to point two or 200 milliamps. It's at 4.2, which is the charge voltage of a 3.7 volt cell. It was already charged. So that's how you do it. And you have your timer down here. This shows how many, uh, how much juice is being put into your battery in milliamps. You can think of that as the gas tank reading right there. And that's how it's done. So, Trevor, and for uh, all of our other subscribers and viewers, we hope this helps. And thank you for tuning in to Heli Skunk, and happy flying. Take care.